everyone this is Neha Tulshan from Crescent Creation welcome to another video on my YouTube channel today I'm sharing these two action wobble cards with you using the new Avriel Peekaboo flight stamp set Peekaboo stamps collection from Avriel is one of my favorites and I'm so happy how these two cards turned out so let me show you how I created these two action wobble cards I started with two heavyweight A2 size cardstock that I cut from accent opaque 110 pound cardstock and now I'm gonna do some ink smushing technique to ink up my background here I'm adding some ink to my work surface directly from my ink pad I'm using my Tim Holtz glass media mat here for this technique and I'm using tumbled glass peacock feathers and stormy sky distress inks here once I have my ink on my work surface I'll spray it with my distress sprayer and bring in my acetate sheet and pick up the ink using the clear sheet and push it onto the cardstock. This technique here is called ink smushing. I call it a more um, easier way of watercoloring your background. You can also directly take your cardstock into the ink and uh, have a similar look, but this is a more controlled way of creating backgrounds where you can control uh, where you're putting the ink. Here I also added a little bit of blueprint sketch distress ink to my background. Now moving on to my next background, repeating the same steps, picking up ink using the clear sheet and applying it to my cardstock to create the background. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more crafty videos and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And my background is almost done here. I really like that you can create this watercolor effect on a background so easily just by using a clear sheet and you have so much control too. I'll keep these aside to dry and I'll work on my images. Here is the Peekaboo flight stamp set and coordinating die which is now available in my Etsy store. And I'm stamping both the images from the stamp set on a accent opaque 110 pound cardstock using lawn fawn jet black ink. I'm using my stamping tool to help me stamp these images couple of times to get a crisp image. And I'm also stamping these images twice. And I'm gonna show you why I stamped the images twice later in this video. And as these images are gonna go on our action wobble, um, that's why I'm stamping them on a heavyweight cardstock instead of ATLP cardstock. Off camera, I stamped few of the critters using the Peekaboo um, coasters and Peekaboo summer pal stamp set. And now I'm gonna color them using my Copic markers. And also, I stamped these images on an ATLB cardstock. Here I'm coloring the owl from the Peekaboo coaster stamp set using some E markers. I'm using E79 as my darker marker blending it out using E77 and lastly coming in with my E74 that is my lightest marker and blending everything out. For the lighter parts of the owl, I'm using E55 as my darkest color, blending it out using E53 and then coming in with my E51 and blending everything out. Adding a little bit of color to the cheeks of the owl using R85 and blending that using E51 and lastly used YR07 for the beak of the owl. For coloring the seagull here, I'm using some cool gray markers. I used C3 as my darkest color, C2 as my medium color, and C00 as my lightest color. For the beak of the seagull, I used YR18 and YR16 Copic markers. For my seahorse, I'm using some YR markers. I'm using YR02 as my darkest color, blending that out using YR82, and then blending everything out using YR00 Copic marker. Next, I'm using some YR markers for my seahorse. I'm using YR17 as darkest color. I'm using YR13 as my medium color and blending that YR17. And lastly, coming in with YR01, which is my lightest marker, and blending everything out. Next, I'm coloring the airplane. I'm using some R markers here. I'm starting with my R29 and adding shadows where I think it would be. Next, I'm coming in with my R24 Copic marker and blending that R29. And lastly, I'm coming in with R22 
but my R22 was completely dried up so I switched to R14 Copic marker here and used that as my lightest color and blended everything out. I also used some cool gray markers to color the rest of my airplane. I used C3 as my darkest color, blended that out using C2 and lastly came in with C00 Copic marker and blended everything out. For my second image, that's going to be my layering image. I just used uh, one of the R markers and colored the whole image because that's just going to go at the bottom. You can also skip coloring this image if you want to, but I thought it might just show while I'm layering this beneath my main image. So I thought adding one color would be good. Next for my helicopter image, I'm using some B markers here. I'm using B29 as my darkest color. Blending that out with my medium color which is B24 and lastly coming in with my B21 as my lightest color and blending everything out. For the metal parts of the helicopter, I used cool grey markers. I used C3 as my darkest color, C2 as the medium color and C00 as my lightest color. And again I colored the second image using one of the B markers. Now using the coordinating dies to die cut all these images. I also die cut these background panels using the largest die from the small stitched rectangle dies from Lawn Fawn. Now let's work on assembling our card. Here I'm gluing down the owl using some liquid glue to the airplane that I just colored using one color. Now I'm adding some foam tape to this layer. I'll remove the backing of the foam tape and then Glue down the top airplane, lining both the airplanes together. Gluing down the wings of the owl using some liquid glue. And that's it, our owl is ready to fly this airplane. Next for my helicopter, I wanted to add two critters to the helicopter. So here, I glued down the seahorse to the back of the first helicopter, or the top layer. And then I glued down the seagull to the front of the bottom layer of the helicopter. I hope that is making sense. I'm gluing down the wings of both the critters. Now applying uh, foam tape to the bottom layer of the helicopter. Removing the backing and then we'll glue down the top layer, lining both the helicopters together. Making sure that both my critters are seen nicely from the front. Uh, trimming off any excess foam, uh, foam tape that's showing from the sides. And that's it. The helicopter is ready. Now before I put everything together, I'm stamping the sentiment to both my background panels. Both the sentiments are from the Peekaboo Flight Stamp Set. The first sentiment reads, let your dreams take flight. And the next sentiment is, you're plain awesome. I stamped both the sentiments using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. Now gluing down both the panels to a A2 size card base using liquid glue. And now I'm gluing down the mini action wobbles at the back of the airplane, removing the backing and then placing it in the center of the airplane. So once the action wobble is uh, glued to the back of the airplane, I glued it, removed the backing and glued it to my card panel. And you can see that card in action there. How cool, right? Now for the helicopter, since there is a window in the center of the helicopter, I had to place the action wobble towards the side, but then, um, wasn't um, moving nicely it was tilted towards the right a little bit so I added a second action wobble 
towards the right side of the helicopter. So that leveled the helicopter from both sides. But now it's not moving as much as the airplane. But I still like it. It's still moving and it is cute. What are your thoughts about it? Let me know in the comment section below. And let me show you closely how all those dimensions look. I really like that 3D look those two layers of images give along with the foam tape in between. It just adds an extra touch to these uh, action wobblers. Lastly, adding some white gel pen details to both my cards. And we are done. And before I leave, I'm going to quickly share that we will be live tomorrow. That is February 20 at 1 p.m. PST here on YouTube and also on my Facebook. So do join us. We will be crafting and there will be a couple of giveaways too. So don't miss it. So this was my video for today. I hope you guys liked it and will give Action Wobblers a try. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. All the supplies used are listed and linked in the description box below. Here are a few more videos that you might like to watch. Thank you for visiting. Have a nice day.